Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter, how to convert an epoch timestamp to a date in standard SQL. Our viewer reached out after struggling to find a straightforward answer while using Redash Analytics with Google's BigQuery. They needed to convert a Unix timestamp in milliseconds, represented as a string, into a standard date format for their queries. The issue arose from the strict casting and conversion rules in standard SQL, making it difficult to parse the timestamp correctly. But don't worry, we'll explore the solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To convert an epoch timestamp to a date in standard SQL, we first need to understand what an epoch timestamp is. It represents the number of milliseconds that have elapsed since January 1st, 1970. In our case, we have a timestamp like 149486548. We need to convert this string representation into a date format. In BigQuery, we can use the timestamp millis function for this conversion. Once we have the timestamp, we can convert it to a date format using the date function. This will give us the desired output. Putting it all together, the complete SQL query would look like this. Select date, timestamp millis 149486540 as converted date. This query will return 2017-0515, which is the date format we wanted. If you have any further questions or need more examples, feel free to ask. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To convert an epoch timestamp to a date in standard SQL, you can use the timestamp millis function. Simply cast your timestamp to an in64 and then apply the date function. For example, using the timestamp 149486548800 will return the date May 15, 2017. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To convert an epoch timestamp to a date in standard SQL, you can use the date add function. First, cast the timestamp to an integer, divide it by the number of milliseconds in a day, and then add that to the start of epoch time. This method effectively calculates the resulting date from the epoch timestamp, saving time for others who may face the same challenge. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To convert an epoch timestamp to a date in standard SQL, you can use the function utcusec2timestamp. 
Simply multiply your timestamp by 1000 and pass it to the function. Next, to extract just the date, you can use the date function on the result of UTC USEC to timestamp. This method does not require you to know the internal format of Unix timestamps. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.